Well, Eurosong kicks off next Friday and before we know it, we'll all be heading to Sweden for this year's Eurovision. And everybody loves the Eurovision, don't they? So Pat, uh, you're an ABU, anything but Eurovision. How did you end up going on tour with uh, six of Ireland's seven Eurovision winners? I've never been um, a Eurovision Song Contest fan. I do remember, as a kid in 1970, uh, watching Dana win. That's my first Eurovision win. Um, sitting in the front room of the house in Kildare. That was, that was my first memory of it. I remember the hullabaloo in 70... 78, was it, when ABBA won? 74, I think. Oh, was it? Oh, you're right, it was, it was earlier. It was, it was, it was. And I didn't even see it. I remember hearing about it, but I didn't even see it. The songs, the song style, not my cup of tea, the, 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 I find it very kitsch. Um, all that glitz and glamour is, is not my cup of tea. Um, but I'm fascinated by how it works and why. So when um, RT rang me and said, do you know about the Best of Eurovision tour? You know about the six Irish winners who are going on tour together around the country? And I went, yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw something. I saw a clip on the Late Late. He said, well, would you like to make a documentary about it? I went, oh, yeah. I had never met most of the six before but we knew of each other you know what i mean they were winning when i was on the telly what intrigued me was how they would get on you know there are six egos you have to be an ego uh, you have to have an ego to perform yeah one of the things that i was worried about was taking a step back and being wrapped up in eurovision land again what intrigued what surprised me was that actually they all do know each other to various degrees Dan, as a kid, sang in Johnny Logan's Old Man's Pub. I didn't know, for instance, that Johnny didn't make any money out of what, winning What's Another Year. He said all the money disappeared and he, only, he had to sell his house. And um, he only paid everything back a couple of weeks before he won the second time round. There's a gentleman in, in RT, uh, Paul G. Sheridan, who is Mr. Eurovision. And he knows everything about the Eurovision Song Contest. And I got him involved in the documentary as archive researcher. Um, uh, he knows everything. He knows who, where, why, when, what, how. Um, and uh, that's his area of expertise. What I, I hope brought to it was a curiosity about what goes on behind the scenes of, of a tour like this. It's bizarre. We started filming the day before the first gig at the last day of rehearsal and during the show that night you know we're filming backstage and we have a camera out front filming and I was singing along to nearly every song and I was tapping my feet um, and that's the thing about Eurovision you don't even have to be a fan I think it kind of gets under your skin it's such a big event I've been crying such a long time with such a lot of pain Ireland? I thought Johnny was a boss fan.